let's head to the Dallas area. Much to the chagrin of some fans around the Big 12, the Oklahoma Sooners have historically recruited the state of Texas very well. This year is no different. So far in the 2017 class, eight Texans are currently committed to be Sooners next year. And one of the most notable is running back Kennedy Brooks of Mansfield, Texas. The way he runs, it looks smooth and effortless, almost like he's jogging. But make no mistake, he is a strong, punishing runner. Just ask defenses around Dallas. He's been wearing them out for three years now. I think he has unbelievable patience for, for a high school running back. He's able to use his blockers, and, and he's patient attacking the hole. I mean, you'll see him, he kind of looks like sometimes he's coasting, and all of a sudden he hits the hole because he's been setting up the blocks, and then he hits it right where it's at. So uh, his, his patience is, is unbelievable, but then uh, when he uh, sees the hole, he hits it, and he hits it hard, you know, and he's got good acceleration through the hole. And the thing, if you just look at Kennedy, you wouldn't think that he's, you know, one of these real strong kids, but he's an incredibly strong runner. People really think of me as just a, like, it's a downhill back, but I, I believe that too, but I'm also like a person that will try to get around and also will also in, in cases to get through you. So I think I'm all, all around back. Brooks is the type of player who gets better and better as the season goes on. Last year as a junior, he ran for 3,500 yards and 42 touchdowns. But 1,400 of that came in a five-game playoff run. That's an average of 280 yards per playoff game. When it matters most, Brooks delivers. Mansfield coach Daniel Mayberry knows this well, and he has been monitoring his star's carry so he can get the most out of him in the postseason. He's a special talent, you know, and you want to get him the ball as much as you absolutely can, but you also got to think about the kid and, and making sure we're not just beating him into the ground. So. You know, we're very conscious of it. Uh, at the same time, it is hard not to just, hey, give the ball to Kennedy Brooks because he is so special. I'm very confident in what I'm able to do for the team, you know. But I never asked for, I never asked the coach to give me the ball because I know there's other people on the team that can also do good besides me. But he knows, but he knows that I, like, I'm here for the team, you know. I'm, I'm down to do whatever. So if my, my name is called for the play, I'm, I'm going to get it. Like, I'm going I'm to run it. Run for the touchdown or try to get it first, at least. But like, I work on my body a lot, so I kind of like, endure this a, a, a lot through that. So it actually helps me build up the toughness and everything for it this year and for next year in college. Whether the Tiger season ends in November or sometime later in December, Kennedy is looking forward to his next stop in Norman, Oklahoma. He knows no matter what kind of offense the Sooners are running, he'll be able to produce. It don't matter what, what system spread, uh, pro style, I, it don't matter to me. I'm going I'm to fit in good in any offense because I'm, I'm just going to work hard and just ball out.